Hey everybody, welcome to episode number 8 of What's the Pepper series. Today I have another very very special pod. This is the Scotch Bonnet Yellow crossed with a Bahamian Goat. A very beautiful pod. So let me show you what the plant looked like and then we'll come back, cut it open and then I'll tell you more about the pepper. Okay, here's what the plant looked like. The plant was started indoor in a double cup method and recently I moved it out here so that I can allow this plant to fruit a little. I kind of rushed through it because I wanted the plant to fruit quick but it only produces one fruit. But this fruit looked absolutely amazing. It's, it's not completely red. It's almost like a tangerine color. It's a, a half red, half orange kind of. The camera is not doing the fruit justice at all, but it's, it looks beautiful in person. There's just only one of this. It's not so big right now, but uh, I'm sure once we cut this off, it'll start to go back into growth mode again. But uh, that's what the plant looked like. Pretty small, typical leaf of Scotch Bonnet. We're going to be doing a review on this plant, so let's go ahead and pull it off right now. Beautiful fruit. Okay, here's what the pepper looked like. This is the Scotch Bonnet Yellow crossed with a Bahamian Goat. And here is an example of what the parent Scotch Bonnet Yellow look like. This variety is very unique because it changes into so many different colors. It'll start out green, then when it's semi-ripen, it becomes a very bright yellow color. And then if you leave it on for longer, it'll turn sort of like an orange color, almost yellowish orange. And this pod here is a cross and as you can see it sort of retained very similar characteristic to the parent plant except it's completely a different color. It's, it has some orange in here from the parent uh, the Bahamian goat and then the reddish color here I'm not sure what it is. It's not completely red but it's almost very pink. So interesting cross. It's probably one of my favorite pepper this year. I just love the way it looks and the color and the way it transitioned during the ripening process. It's just It looks really really cool. I have many pictures on uh, the Google Plus community so I'll link you guys below. You're more than welcome to come and join. I post pictures there all the time. So let's cut this guy open and see what's inside. I just picked this about five minutes ago so it's very very fresh. Here's the inside of the pepper. The wall is sort of thin. It's very firm, so I'm sure it's going to be very crunchy. Uh, nice small placenta. It doesn't. It's not taking up all of the pepper. Wow, the aroma is just amazing as soon as I open it. It smells just like the parent Scotch Bonnet. A very very fruity. Has a nice citrus aroma. Very pleasant smell. I, I love the smell of all Scotch Bonnet and this variety is just exactly like that. And if you haven't seen the Bahamian Goat yet, I will link you to some pictures that I've grown and you can see. Okay, so I'm going to cut this out and give it a try. I don't know how hot this is, so I'm not going to try to dare myself. Just going to have a small piece. And as I mentioned before, the heat is all here. So what I'm taking here is, is not going to be as hot as what it's going to be here. So I will tell you um, how hot it is based on the piece that I'm taking. Okay, let's give it a taste. Scotch bonnet yellow cross with a Bahamian goat. Two of my most absolute favorite peppers. I grow this every year because I just love these varieties. So I don't know how hot it is. So here we go. Mm, very crunchy. 
lots of flavor immediately. Very sweet. <coughs> Heat. <coughs> it has so much juice that when I swallow, it's starting to choke me a little bit. Mm. Very good flavor. Wow. This would be a good pepper for anybody because the heat is not too extreme has a burst of flavor good good sweetness I'm gonna try another piece mm, very sweet it's almost like oh wow the heat is starting to kick now because I got close to the persona. Ah, burn all here. Ah, very good heat. <clears throat> it's very juicy immediately. Great flavor, a lot of sweetness. It's almost like eating a, a fruit. I mean, not, not as not as sweet as a peach, I would say, but for a pepper, it's extremely sweet. Wow, the heat is starting to kick right now. It's attacking my throat right here. This is definitely very, very hot. Close to um, the MOA Scotch bonnet I had before. Very good flavor. Very, very good heat. Wow. It's starting to fade now, so I guess the heat kicks immediately as soon as I touch the placenta area. And um, it starts to subside now, so it's, it's pretty much going away. But lots of flavor on the tongue. No heat at all here, just very, very little. But all of it, all of the heat is right here. As soon as I swallow, it, it starts attacking here. Whew. That is a really good pepper. This is definitely better than the last cross that I made uh, a video on. But I still have hope for that one. So I will be growing both of this. These are both F1s. Uh, next season will be F2. And I'm going to keep growing to see uh, what will come out of these peppers because this one for sure because I really like this one. Okay, yeah, the heat is all gone now. Uh, excellent pepper. I'm definitely growing more of this. And if I can get this to stabilize, uh, maybe F4 or F5, I'm going to start giving seeds out to people. I do this as a hobby. I don't uh, sell seeds. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Excellent cross of my own. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions or comments or uh, questions about how I cross this variety, I will provide all that information in the link. And please click there and check it out. And please come join our Pepper Lover community. It's a great place to hang out. People there are extremely nice and always so caring. And they share seeds all the time. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.